Troubleshooting steps for a non-working AT&T modem. Hey there! Welcome to this video where we'll be discussing troubleshooting steps for a non-working AT&T modem. If you're experiencing issues with your modem, don't worry, we've got you covered. In this video, we'll go through a series of steps to help you diagnose and fix the problem. So, let's get started. Power cycle your modem. The first step you should try is to power cycle your modem. This simple yet effective method can resolve many common issues. Here's what you need to do. 1. Unplug the power cord from the back of your modem. 2. Wait for about 30 seconds to ensure all the capacitors are fully discharged. 3. Plug the power cord back into the modem. 4. Wait for the modem to power up completely. This may take a couple of minutes. By power cycling the modem, you are essentially giving it a fresh start, which can often resolve connectivity problems. Check physical connections. Next, let's make sure all the physical connections are secure. Sometimes, a loose cable or connection can cause the modem to malfunction. Here's what you should do. 1. Check all the cables connected to your modem, including the power cord, ethernet cables, and any coaxial cables. 2. Ensure that each cable is firmly plugged in. If you find any loose connections, reseat the cables to ensure a snug fit. 3. Inspect the cables for any damage. If you notice any frayed or damaged cables, it's best to replace them. A solid and secure physical connection is vital for proper modem functionality, so it's essential to double-check this step. Verify DSL or fiber line connection. If you have an AT&T DSL or fiber internet connection, it's crucial to ensure the line connection is intact. Here's what you can do. 1. Locate the AT&T service box. It is usually installed on the exterior of your house or apartment. 2. Open the service box and check for any loose or disconnected wires. 3. If you find any loose wires, securely reconnect them to their respective ports. Maintaining a proper line connection between your home and the AT&T network is crucial for internet access. By verifying the DSL or fiber line connection, you can rule out any potential issues related to the external wiring. Factory reset your modem as a last resort. If you've tried the previous steps and your AT&T modem is still not working, you can try performing a factory reset. However, please note that a factory reset will erase all your custom settings and revert the modem to its default configuration. Here's how to proceed. 1. Locate the reset button on the back or bottom of your modem. It's usually a small hole labeled, Reset. 2. Using a paper clip or a similar tool, press and hold the reset button for about 10 to 15 seconds. 3. Release the reset button after the specified time. 4. Wait for the modem to reboot and go through the setup process again. You may need to enter your AT&T account credentials during this process. Performing a factory reset can often resolve stubborn issues that were not resolved by previous troubleshooting steps. However, remember to back up any important settings or configurations before proceeding. Congratulations! You've reached the end of this troubleshooting guide for your non-working AT&T modem. We've covered several steps to help you diagnose and fix the 